So some of you may or may not be familiar with My Life as Ava, but I have been following her for literally years. She has a YouTube channel, she does Instagram. She's a really great content creator in my opinion. The stuff that she creates just makes it seem like she lives this very crazy, like fun, like lifestyle. And like her photos are amazing, her videos are amazing. And I've just been following her for a really long time. So if you don't know who she is and you're into YouTube and Instagram and all that stuff, I recommend checking her out. She won't be that hard to find, I'm sure. But recently she released Lightroom Preset. If you don't know what a Lightroom preset is, basically Lightroom is a photo editing app. You can have it on your phone or you can have it on your desktop and you can download your own custom made presets into this app, which is basically like a filter. You pop it on your photo. If you put the same preset on every photo, your photos are all gonna have a very similar look. It basically just changes the contrast, the coloring, and all the aspects of the photo to what the preset is. I hope that made sense. Basically, they're photo filters. A lot of different creators have these presets for sale and a lot of them are honestly pretty expensive. They range from like 30 to like $75 depending on who's selling them, how many's in the package, yada yada yada, you get the idea. But Ava just released three preset bundles and they are only $10 each, which is really exciting because they're actually affordable. Like there's been tons of different presets I've been wanting to try, but I just can't justify spending $50 on some presets, especially when I usually just make my own anyway. And I know presets are one of those things, some photographers hate them, some photographers love them. I think the general consumer that uses Lightroom really loves presets because they're really a great place to start if you don't really know how to edit a photo. But yeah, most presets are really quite expensive, so I was really excited to see that hers were only $10 per pack. I only like just like went on the website briefly, so we are gonna check that out again. But basically, a while back, I did a video where I tested some cheap Lightroom presets that I bought from Etsy and that video actually went over pretty well. So I thought today we would go over My Life as Ava presets and test them out and see how they work. Now I'm only gonna be buying one of the packs. I haven't decided which one yet, so we're gonna go through that in a minute, but times are tough and I gotta save some coin, so we're only gonna buy one. Um, but I think this is gonna be really fun to experiment with. So. Let's do this. So I am on uh, lifeisava.com. This is where you can buy her presets. It's a very aesthetic looking website, might I say. I think from here you can probably get like a pretty good idea of her photography and what her presets are going to look like. Let's check it out. So you can buy the entire bundle for $30. $10 preset packs now available. Okay, let's go. Do we want mobile presets or do we want desktop presets? That's the question. I think I want to do desktop, honestly. Oh, wait a minute. I'm correcting myself from earlier because I said she only had three $10 preset packs, but that was a lie. For desktop, she has obviously the entire collection for $30, and then she has five $10 packs, and then you can get like a gift card if you want to purchase a gift card and give it to someone else for them to pick out what presets they want. Okay, so I don't know which one I want. She has the Essentials Pack, Clean Edits Only, Shot on Film, the Tropics one, and then the Tokyo one. I really, really like the look of the Essentials one. I really like that picture, but I don't really have a lot of photos that look like that. Shot on Film intrigues me, so let's check this out. Okay, I feel like there's not enough color in these ones for me. I personally like to have color in my photos. Not like super saturated, but like... I don't know. Let's check out the Essentials one because I feel like I'm leaning towards that one. This is going to be a hard decision. Okay, clean edits. Let's check this one. Dang it, I don't know which one to pick. Is there any that... Okay, we didn't look at the Tropics one. I don't think I'm going to go with the Tropics one. Even Actually, you know what? I might. I don't really have a lot of like tropical pictures, but I do like the colors. Um, that come out of the Tropics collection, so I think I might go with this one. I feel like it'd be a really good like staple summer preset. Let's just check out the Tokyo one, and if the Tokyo one isn't calling my name, I think we might have to go with the Tropics one. 
Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with the Tropics one, but I think like if you went with the like the pack of all of them, I think it'd be a really good deal. It's like $30 for all of these. It's a really good deal. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and download these and set them all up and then we're gonna play with them a little bit. I downloaded the preset pack, so the Tropics pack. Let's go over to them in the sidebar. Here they are. So there was 14 different presets in the pack. I have this picture pulled up from when I did the TikTok video. I figured what the heck, let's just use it on these and we'll see what happens. And we'll also try it on some other photos because th this pack is technically made for like tropic photos. So like photos that include like a lot of blue, which there isn't a lot of in this picture. So we'll try and find some pictures that are gonna work well with the preset because we can't really judge it on something that's not gonna work well with from the beginning. Let's just try them, see what happens. This is Tropics number one. The whites have kind of like a yellow tone. I almost feel like the purple's a little too saturated for me. Obviously, Ava and I have very different skin tones and very different hair colors. So these are all gonna like look a little bit different. I like that one a little bit better. So that was Tropics number two. Tropics three is very cool toned. Tropics four, definitely doesn't work with this picture. Definitely not. Tropics five, ooh. Okay, I like Tropics five. Tropic five is very like, it's cool, but it's kind of like moody. It doesn't matter how many photos I try this pre these presets on, like I'm gonna like them differently depending on what the photo's been taken of. Okay, I like the purples in that one. It, my hair reminds me of like a purple popsicle. This is number eight, very subtle, but very nice. This one's Tropic nine. Okay, this one definitely gives me like a filmy vibe. I feel like a lot of Ava's presets give like filmy vibes, which I like because I love shooting film and I like the colors that it gives off. 12, okay, 13 and 14. 14's nice. Actually, 14's really nice with this. Just for comparison, so this is Ava's preset and then this is the preset that I've been using on most of my pictures that I created myself. So this is kind of the look that I've been going for lately. Okay, so I pulled up two different pictures. This one is a really freaking cute one of my niece. I picked it because there's a lot of blue water because I wanted to see what these presets do to the blue because I feel like in the tropics there's a lot of blue. So I just wanted to see what happened with the blue. And then I picked up this picture from the view at my family's cottage and I wanted to see what happened with that. That was shot in raw and the picture style that I shot that in was neutral so the colors aren't really popping. I'm interested to see how they react to the colors that I have in these pictures. So this one gives it a really like contrasty feel. I like the color of the water. It's a little more saturated than I would like. Now this was a picture that was taken on my phone so it's gonna react differently because this isn't a mobile preset. Okay, there's that, that's two, that's three. Not really loving the skin tone there. Again, like I said before, like the, okay, I like five, five is cute. It has a little more like contrast than I personally would like, but that's still cute. Okay, six is good. I'm not really a huge fan of how that's looking. Eight is probably my favorite so far. I really like number eight. Nine. I'm not sure there's something about it I can't quite put my finger on that I don't like. 10 is kind of cool. It's kind of got that filmy vibe again. That one's got more of like a sepia tone look to it. That one's cute. And 14, don't know how I feel about 14, but 14, I really feel like that looks like something that would come off of a film camera, so. Okay, so that's that picture. I think the winner here for me was, was it 11? Maybe it was 11. Like everything was really contrasty and really saturated with that picture. So I'm really interested to see how they work with a photo that is very neutral in color. Already, I really like what's happening here. Um, it's very saturated and turquoise -y. Okay, that's number one. Number two, don't really like that one so much. Number three, I'll kind of like that, but I wouldn't pick that. I don't like how saturated the green is in that one. I like how they all have kind of a green to them though. That one's nice. The green, see the green in this one, I like a lot better than the green in that one. I'm not a huge fan of that like really like bluey green. I like the more yellowy green. That one's nice. That looks like it came off of a film camera. I'm not a huge fan of how eight looks on this one. Don't know about nine on this one. Number 10 makes it look more of like a normal picture rather than like really like dull. Number 11, don't really like 11 on this one. 12 is really nice on this one. It kind of brings it back to life a little bit without being too over the top, which is nice. 13, hold on, there's something about 13 here that makes it like kind of brighter on one side. That's kind of interesting. And then there's 14. 
Which one did I like the best? I do like 13. I think I might like the first one the best. Maybe this guy's a little too turquoisey, but obviously like if there's like subtle things in these in these filters that you don't like, you can go into the sidebar of Lightroom or it's like on the bottom if you're in Lightroom app and just fix them up and like make them to your liking and adjust them to your photographs. Like I said, like my skin tone as well as my niece's skin tone is completely different than Ava's. So obviously, like the tans and the oranges and the yellows they might react differently to my photos rather than how they look in Ava's photos yeah I think this is a pretty solid pack to be honest like if you like that like filmy kind of look like the kind of look that Ava has on her pictures I think that you're gonna like these these filters and honestly for ten dollars you can't really go wrong like that's the thing about buying filters that are like fifty dollars like you just don't know like if you're gonna end up using them but for ten dollars for like 14 presets that's less than a dollar per preset which is actually cheaper than the Etsy presets that I bought because they were like three something each or two dollars each or something so this is actually a better deal than the Etsy presets that I did the video on I will link that video down below if you do want to check that out but honestly you can't really get a better deal for a preset than what's happening here so honestly highly recommend and if I had the money I probably would get the full preset pack so yeah if you want like really affordable presets that kind of have like a more filmy look to them I definitely would recommend. I mean, obviously it helps to have really great photos to start with like Ava does, but I think that if you have never used presets before and you like the style of Ava's photos, I think that these could probably help take your photos to the next level. And if you don't have the Lightroom like desktop app, you can just download on your phone. I do believe it's free. Two thumbs up for Ava's presets. So happy that they're so affordable. Like I can't even stress that enough. If you wanna see more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And with all that being said, thanks so much for watching. I will see you guys on Friday with a brand new video as well as sometime on the vlog channel with a new vlog. I'm a bit behind there, so not really sure what's happening there, but you can always follow me on Instagram if you want more current updates. And with all that being said, I will see you guys then. Bye. I'm too far away. I can't reach. Hold on, hold on.